So here we've got a lower limb model. We're looking at the proximal end, so we're looking at the hip region, and we can see here in red some arteries. So here we've got, and we need to turn the specimen to have a medial point of view so that we can make sure we, we know what we're looking at. Here we've got a common iliac artery. Now this one came off the aorta when the aorta finished, when it ended, and split into left and right common iliac artery. So here we've got a left common iliac artery, and that's only fairly short, and it then splits into an internal iliac artery and an external iliac artery. You can see the internal iliac artery again splits, but it gives off branches that are um, supplying blood to structures mainly within the pelvis. And then the external iliac just runs along, so it's major here, goes deep to the inguinal ligament, and then changes its name to femoral. So here we can see common, internal, and external iliac arteries, and then a femoral artery here. Now the femoral artery is right next to the femoral uh, nerve, and the structure to, to on its medial side is the femoral vein, so they're all called femoral. And the femoral artery travels down here, deep to sartorius, in between the adductors and the quads. You can just see it disappearing here. And then if we turn the model over and have a look from a posterior point of view, you can see that the same vessel travels through this little opening in adductor magnus here. But it's once it gets past magnus, it changes its name again. So now it might be the same tube, might be continuous with the femoral and the external and common iliac arteries, but now it's called the popliteal artery. So popliteal, the region at the back of the knee. So this is the popliteal artery here, travels with the tibial nerve down the back of the knee, and then when it gets below the knee, so here we're looking at popliteus and then tibialis posterior, we can see the fibula here, the head of the fibula just here, when the uh, popliteal artery gets to here, that's it then splits, and that's the end of the popliteal artery. It splits into two branches. This one is the anterior tibial artery that goes through the interosseous membrane and turns up here on the anterior aspect of the leg, but deep. So here's the anterior tibial artery travelling with the deep fibular nerve there in yellow. We come back to the posterior point of view. So that was the anterior tibial artery. This one that travels down the back of the leg is the posterior tibial artery. And that travels with the tibial nerve and is going to become the A in Tom, Dick and very, very naughty Harry. So this is the artery that's part of that, the posterior tibial artery. Now you'll notice, hopefully, there's a branch coming off it just here that's the fibular artery. Now often on the specimens, that one's very difficult to find. But here on the model, you can clearly see it, but not for very long. So we've got popliteal artery here, splitting into posterior and anterior tibial, and then the fibula comes off the posterior tibial, not long after it arises. Now we can follow the posterior tibial down the back of the leg, and we can see here tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. So it's running in between digitorum and hallucis longus there with the tibial nerve. Now to, to uh, pick up on that, what happens to the posterior tibial artery, we can do that with a foot model. So here we've got the posterior tibial artery here, travelling with the tibial nerve, and here it splits into a medial plantar artery and a lateral plantar artery. So we can see both of those there, travelling with the nerves of the same name. Now on the dorsal surface of the foot, we can see here the anterior tibial artery, and this one, when we get to the talocrural joint, the joint between the tibia, fibula and talus, 
that artery changes its name to the dorsalis pedis or dorsal artery of the foot. Now on this model we can only just see it here for a little way and then I think they're hinting at it being in here as well. So the dorsal artery of the foot or dorsalis pedis will often be visible on uh, specimens though. You can often find it in that same spot. <coughs>